Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to make a hat old and tattered in Photoshop. So let's get to that. So we're going to make this hat old and tattered in Photoshop. And this basically goes across all platforms. If you have uh, the original Creative Suite, Creative Suite 2, 3, and I have 6 here. So this technique is actually can go over all platforms. And what I did was I actually made um, a hat here. I actually isolated it. So it's actually on a blank background here, but I made a white background underneath of it. Um, but this hat actually is on its own layer. And I have some uh, elements here, and uh, I suggest you either make your own elements or you can actually buy them. But um, And I have a kind of a grainy uh, picture here, and you can actually make this in noise. Uh, there's a noise filter that you can make, but you can actually uh, make things bitmap and use that kind of texture, uh, just kind of an interesting texture. Uh, I have uh, some scratchy lines here that are on, it's on transparent, uh, kind of gets it, and then I actually have another one that's kind of bitmap, it's bit, a bit of a burn. Um, I actually took a picture of a burn and then converted it to bitmap and knocked out the background. So let's use these elements. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the uh, grain right here. I'm actually going to uh, take my marquee tool. I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to go to the top here. And I'm going to copy that under Edit. So um, if I go up here, I'm actually going to paste. And that will create a new layer. Now it's pretty big, so actually I want to go to Transform. I'm going to Shift and bring that down because the actual picture was actually a lot bigger than I anticipated. So you can click and drag, and just so it covers it, and click right there. And we're going to set that to Overlay. And if I click on and off, you can see how it kind of made um, it made it a bit dingier just by putting that effect on there. We're going to go to the scratchy lines. We're going to do a, a similar effect. We're actually going to marquee here. And we're going to copy that as well. Go back and paste that on top. And So we're going to just move that around. That is a little bit bigger than I anticipated as well. So I'm actually going to scale that down. You can actually dial in that right here. And I'm going to probably make it half of what it was. So 50 and then 50 right here. And we're also going to go to transform. We're also going to turn it on its side here so it covers more of the hat. Let's go back actually and make it a little bit larger by scale. And I'm shift dragging right there, and I'm going to have my check mark. Now, if, as you notice, it's going to be all around that. And to make that specific to the hat, we're actually going to knock out the hat. We're going to go in between the layers right here. Between, So let's make this layer. I'm going to rename that grain. and. I'm going to rename this lines. And we're going to go between the grain and the hat. And we're going to option. And you, you get a little arrow here, right here. And if you click, it actually makes that. It actually masks that out. So we're actually going to do the same thing in between the grain and the lines. So now with the lines, it actually takes out all that exterior. I'm going to go to overlay right here. Um, and that doesn't get quite the effect. So I'm actually going to go back to Multiply. And I'm going to dial this back a little bit so it's the, hard, the edges aren't quite as hard. Now, a thing I like to do for effect is actually doubling up layers. So I'm actually going to take this, I'm going to drag this and make it another copy of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to flip this layer. So I can actually do Flip Vertical. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. So it kind of gives a little bit of variance to it. I'm going to go to our last layer. And I'm going to select 
all of that. And I'm going to copy, go back to my original layer here, and I'm going to paste. Now that's also big in there. And what we'll do is we'll shift, drag the mouse, and we're actually going to make this fit right there. We're going to click OK. And I'm going to go in between the lines. I'm going to push Option and click that layer. So this will be our burn. I'm going to double click on that. Burn. And I'm going to put that at Overlay. And we can actually do this a couple times where I can actually duplicate that layer as well to maybe get, and I can actually size that down. So there's some good tattering, and we can actually play around with some soft light or some hard light. Uh, that's probably too sharp, so I'll go back. But if we go back, I'm going to pull up my history, and we can actually see what we started from and where we're, what we have. If I go back to the top, that's my original hat. If I go down to the bottom, much more tattered and and dirty. So that's how you make a hat look old and tattered in Photoshop. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections. We'll see you next time. <laughs>